Let's go. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, we are going to talk about ticket symbol P I N S Pinterest. So for those of you guys that don't know what Pinterest is, again, you can Google it. But Pinterest is kind of like a social media platform um, that's actually used for, uh, by a lot of people to share ideas, share recipes and everything, even like workout and all that good stuff. Um, so people can actually post it there um, and, and share it. So again, think of uh, uh, Pinterest as a more productive um, Instagram because people go there to look for ideas to how to dress, how to cook, uh, how to remodel their house and stuff like that. So um, I do like the stock. So that's what I want us to talk about in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, guys, the reason why I'm actually talking about Pinterest today is because I just bought more Pinterest in my account. If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know that I, I've been covering Pinterest here and my recommendation has always has been buy, buy, buy. Um, I see my wife spend a lot of time on Pinterest and I'm thinking, um, she's spending that time on Pinterest. There's got to be a reason and there's got to be other people out there spending that much time on Pinterest as well. So why not get into the stock? So that's why I got into Pinterest. So uh, as we recall, this past week, uh, it was actually Pinterest earnings. And um, Pinterest, as we know it, the earnings came out. Uh, the numbers were great. But one thing about uh, the, the company that they're um, executives mentioned was that user growth actually slowed down. And just because of that, the market didn't like it. So if we can skip here and show you what happened uh, with the stock. So this is Pinterest prior to their earnings. So this is a five day. Uh, prior to their earnings, Pinterest was sitting close to about um, uh, $78. After the earnings, look at what happened. It just plunged down to as low as uh, 65. So um, this is a great opportunity for people that don't have um, in Pinterest just yet. Um, right now, this is like a Pinterest on sale because I know um, the company is going to bounce back. As a matter of fact, right now, my price projection for Pinterest in the next three or four months would be Pinterest hitting $100 uh, per share. So that's why when it dropped here, it was a great opportunity. I just couldn't resist it. Um, I do like trading earnings of Pinterest. The last three quarters earnings were great and I've actually, I made some good money. So this one kind of got me, I was so mad because like, um, I wanted the earnings to come out good and have the stock spike so I can make profit off of it. That didn't work out, but yet it gave me an opportunity to buy Pinterest in my long term. And you can also swing this one because uh, Pinterest has always it's been a stock that has shown some consistency. So this is one that, but I have it in my long term position. So I'm adding to my long term position. That's why um, I'm actually recording this video. So again, the earnings came out. Uh, Pinterest mentioned that everything looked good. Um, user growth was the only downside that they actually pointed out that because again for obvious reason people are starting to go outside people are starting to get vaccinated so you're going to see um some slowdown because people want to get out and be active and and just you know enjoy nature uh, but after that we're going to get back to a number of routines where people go to work come back jump on social media and check out everything that's there uh, people are going to want to do some projects in the house or maybe uh, people that have vacation homes going want to do projects and update because they haven't had the opportunity to do that because of the pandemic. So there's a lot of um, upside here for, for Pinterest stock. So I see this uh, bouncing back and moving forward and actually hitting that $100 price point. And as again, for me, I see Pinterest as a long-term um, uh, opportunity here. So I'm actually buying and adding to my position and holding it because a company that everything looks good just because user growth slowed on the market and really like it, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. So again, I'm going to keep buying more um, as I see fit. But yeah, this, uh, this dip right here, this was a great opportunity and it's still sitting down there, a uh, great opportunity to get into um, the stock. So Again, uh, Pinterest came out during their earnings report, just to recap here, uh, pointing out that everything uh, looked good. Revenue actually went up 78%. Um, so again, the only thing that actually uh, slowed this lockdown was the fact that 
they didn't have uh, enough user growth for the month of uh, uh, March. Again, this is because people are getting vaccinated, guys. Um, so I won't say this lasts um, a lot longer, but get into the dip because this stock is a long-term stock. Definitely go check out Pinterest. If you don't really have it in your portfolio, I'll say do some research on the company and, and see if it's one that works better for you. I, I always try to share what I have for my long-term position because I know some stocks are good for swinging, some good stocks are good to hold long-term. And if you don't have a long-term position in any stock, I would say consider uh, start putting some stocks that you hold long-term, the ones you only buy and you don't sell, um, you keep adding as you see the opportunity. So like here, Pinterest gave us an opportunity to add and then, you know, when it gets to 100, you might see a little dip again. You keep adding because um, this stock, I mean, in the next three to five years, Pinterest is going to be up there, three, four hundred dollars stock easy, in my personal opinion. So um, definitely give them a try or research the company and see if it, if it works out for you. That's all for this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.